up, it's Devin, and today I'm going to do my August favorites, which is so crazy because that means that it's almost September. Like in two days, it's going to be September, and I turned 30 at the end of September, so yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, anyway, hits and misses. I've only got a few misses, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with those. Um, my first miss is Zoya Pippa. This polish takes like three, three coats probably to actually look good on your nail. And I've got two other Zoya polishes, and I just don't like Zoya in general. I know that it's supposed to be great. I know a lot of people like it. Um, I'm probably one of the few that don't. I just don't like it. I don't like the, um, I don't know, I don't like the formulation of it. I don't like the texture of it. It's just not, not anything that I would ever repurchase ever again. I, I bought the three polishes back like months and months and months ago when they had like three free polishes or something and all you had to pay was shipping and handling. Um, that's when I got the three to try because I'd heard a lot of people talk about them. And I got this one and a silver one and a pink colored one and I'm not impressed with any of them. I'll, I will, I'll never purchase a Zoya polish. But definitely not this one because if you're looking for a bright yellow you're not going to get that with this. It's going to take you three or four coats to get a really pretty yellow out of this. So, that's really kind of pointless for me. Um, another thing that I really hate, not hate, but dislike, um, I really don't like putting in things that I've received from other people because I don't want it to seem like I'm being ungrateful because I'm not. I am very, very grateful for what I receive with swaps and that people send me. Um, but at the same time, I want to be honest with you guys and I want you guys to know if there's something out there that I don't like that you're probably not going to like that you shouldn't waste your money on. Um, with that being said, there are a couple of things that are in my misses um, that I did receive as a gift and please do not take it personally. I, I you know, I'm not being rude at all or unappreciative. I just um, want you guys to know that the products didn't work for me. Um, so the first one is the Ulta Lash Blowout Mascara. Um, this one is the one that has that wand that's kind of like the telescopic, I think, wand. I think that's the name of it. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a crap ton of product between right here and this little spool, like, spooly wand thingy. There's so much product there. This mascara could not be any clumpier. I mean, it just, like piles on the pro I mean immediate spider eyes uh, I mean so if that's the look you're going for then you, you know this is probably a great one to try but um, it gives you immediate spider eyes just like so thick I mean, it looks, it looked like I had like five lashes. I mean, it clumped them all together. And I tried it three different times. Um, and I even tried like wiping it off on, um, you know, a tissue before I applied it. And it still clumped. So, definitely, I would definitely not go for this. Unless you're going for the spider eye look. And in that case, it's probably a great one for you. Um, another one, and this probably is just me being persnickety. Um, but I did not like the um, Maybelline Sweet Cinnamon Blush. I love the color of the blush. It's, it's a really, really pretty color. But I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to, like, the only drugstore brand that I really use is Physician's Formula. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I'll try to swatch it right there. It's actually a really, really pretty blush. Um, but like I was saying, I don't know if it's because the only drugstore brand I use is Physicians Formula, and it's a very high drugstore brand. Um, or what? I guess I'm just used to using, you know, more, um, I wouldn't necessarily say high-end, because I don't buy, like, a bunch of, you know, extremely like Dior or anything, but like middle ground, like um, Tarte and um, totally drawing a blank here. 
totally gone retarded. I, I, I literally can't even think of any names right now of other blushes that I own. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, but you know, like Tarte and like brands, you know, from Sephora and stuff like that. This took so much product to even show up on my cheeks and then it was gone in like two hours. Um, that may just be Maybelline, period. I, I don't know. I, this is my first Maybelline blush that I've used probably since I was a teenager. So that may just be Maybelline, period, and it's probably just me being persnickety. Um, if you like Maybelline blushes, then totally disregard this. You're going to love them. But if you're like me and you stay, you tend to stay kind of like the middle ground, um, you're probably not going to like this because it's not going to last very long at all. It didn't last very long at all on me anyway. So, um, I really like the color. It just takes too much of it and it doesn't last all day. And when I take the time to apply my makeup, I want it to last all day. I don't want to have to go back and do touch-ups on anything except maybe powder or something like that. I, I just don't want to have to fool with that. Um, another thing that I did not like is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. Now, I don't like this for lack of... Um, yeah, it's gone. It's totally gone. What is wrong with me? Um, it's not that this doesn't do what it says it's going to do. This will make your hair go blonder. It totally lightened, you probably can't tell, but it lightened my highlights to the point where some of them are almost white now. So it does do what it says it's going to do. But this stuff damaged my hair and dried the ends of my hair out so bad. Worse than any trip to the salon. Worse than anything, any bleach that I've ever had put on me at home or at a salon. This stuff destroyed the ends of my hair. I am literally trashing it. It's throwing it in the trash. Done. I, I don't know. You probably can't tell because I did like a cholesterol treatment on my hair this morning. I have been like shoving oils in my hair, like drenching the ends of my hair with argon oil and just trying to get some moisture back into it because that stuff made, the ends of my hair was looking like straw. It was ridiculous. It felt like straw. I couldn't brush through it. It, it was awful. It was so extremely, extremely damaging. So, I mean, if you want to go blonder, I mean, and you can't afford to go to a hairdresser, I would just suggest getting like a highlighting kit or something from the store because I've used those before and they don't do near as much damage as this did. This did a lot of damage to my hair. So, really didn't like that. Okay, and these next two likes kind of go hand in hand. Okay, let me see if I can... Sorry, I just shook the camera. Okay, do you guys see this? like gigantic stack of paper. Okay, this is two magazines. I got InStyle first, and I was like, God, this is a gigantic freaking issue of InStyle. Yay! I was all excited, right? Okay, first of all, the cover is so boring. I mean, could they add maybe a pop of purple or pink or something? I don't know. The cover is extremely boring. I love the stars. And I like Beyonce, but the cover is just screams blah to me. Okay, and then it's huge. It's thick, right? Fantastic. Great. I thought there were going to be more articles. Yada, yada, yada. Fall fashion issue. 638 pages. Best new trends. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. There's really no point in making a magazine this big if you're not going to add extra things for the readers because the only extra that was added into this was advertisements. Literally, half the magazine or more was advertisements. That's fine and dandy. Normally, I mean, you know, I expect most of the magazines to have a lot of advertisements, but this one, you know, don't holler that you're having a great, big, gigantic fall issue and that it's fantastic, and then 
not put forth any more effort to add extra articles or extra things for your readers and just throw in a bunch of extra advertisements. I know you're making enough money that you can pay for your damn magazine without putting in 1,500 advertisements, okay? I mean, this was just ridiculous. So I was, like, disgusted when I read this. So I didn't enjoy this one at all. Then, a couple days later, I got this one, which is even heavier, and it's the Vogue. I don't pay for the Vogue, thankfully. Um, I got it when I ordered something from, like, HSN, I think, or something. I don't know. Um, but this one is always chocked full of advertisements. I would never pay for a subscription of Vogue. It, it would just be a waste of my money. But, again, this one is supposed to be a big, huge September, fall issue, yada, yada, yada. Okay. I literally marked what page the letter from the editor started on, which we all know that's like the first thing. That started on page 234. All 233 pages prior to that were advertisements, okay? And then, once you do the letter, letter from the editor, once you read it, the first article started on page 376. Okay, that is already almost half of the book, or half of the magazine that is in advertisements. And, I mean, you're Vogue, people. Again, I know you can afford to print your magazine without printing so many stinking advertisements. It was disgusting. I was disgusted with both of them this month. I cannot wait to throw them away. The only good thing I can say about it is I found a couple of cute pictures to hang on my wall. That's it. Disgusting, 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 and pointless. Totally pointless. I don't know if they charge more. They don't charge more, so uh, whatever, but pointless. I hated it. I could go on and on about that because I was just so aggravated. Anyway, so that's it for my misses. For my hits, I have quite a few. I'm going to start with my random hits. Oh my gosh, like my mouth is watering just looking at this box. I can't eat any right now, but because they're gone. No, they're all gone. But the Blue Bunny Champ Mini Swirls Birthday Cake Mini Cones. Guys, if you see these and you're not worried about eating healthy because these are about as unhealthy as you can get, grab them. They are so, so freaking good. Um, swirls of creamy birthday cake flavored reduced fat ice cream with a thick inner swirl of blue frosting dipped in white chocolatey coating and colorful confetti sprinkles all inside a crunchy sugar cone. These things are to die for. Literally, I love the I cannot even tell you how many boxes of these we devoured in this house this month. I literally have banned myself from buying them because if they were here I, I was going to eat them and they're not healthy but oh my god they're so good. Okay. Anyway another thing that I have really been loving like food wise this month and I don't have any left but it is the um, mission wraps you know just those big wraps that you get at, um, I get mine at Sam's Club, uh, but this is the sun-dried tomato basil wrap, and they're kind of, they're like a red, obviously, sun-dried tomato basil, and these were so good. They just added just a little something extra to the taste of, um, you know, what we were eating them with. Like, we make sandwiches, like, we make turkey sandwiches with these, we make burritos with these, we make everything with these, and these literally could be eaten by themselves, you know, just stick them in the oven and bake them and, like, have, like, tortilla chips out of these, and it's a really, really good flavor. Love these. And then something, a drink that I'm really loving, and it's weird because um, I don't normally like green tea. I, I tend to go towards black tea. I don't know why, but there's something about the taste of green tea that I just don't like. Um, but I got this at my Kroger's. It's Kroger brand, private selection, so I don't know if you have a Kroger or something similar. But anyway, it's the citrus green tea, and it's a blend of green tea with orange peels and natural flavors. This tea, at the minute I took it out of the package, it smelled so good. Like, I wish I could take that smell and bathe in it. It smelled so 
like citrusy, just like orange and something mixed in because it wasn't like a real in your face orange. It was so good and I would just make it like with one packet of my Truvia and I could actually tolerate this green tea because it really did taste citrusy. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one and I'm also really loving the private selection um, black tea that I've got as well, which um, I don't know what it is, like papaya or something, but yeah, I'm loving the Kroger brand tea. Okay, so enough of things in the kitchen. Let's move on to nails. And this one I'm wearing today, and it is the Ulta um, Professional Nail Lacquer in Blue for You. And I freaking love this color. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for like the perfect navy color that doesn't look black. You know, a lot of times navy will come off looking black. Uh, but this one has got just the slightest hint of purple in it to where it actually looks navy. I love this stuff. And I, I like Ulta polishes anyway. So, um, love, love, love this. Um, another thing that I tried this month that I was really surprised about that I loved was the Jessie's Girl Nail Polish. Now, I got the, um, the Julie G one, not from her collection um, that she just came out with, but I plan on getting all those, hopefully. Um, but yeah, this one's called Julie G, and it's really, really pretty, like coral, corally pink, and I have to say, I think this was like 3 or $4, and the quality of Jessie's Girl nail polish is fantastic. It makes me want to try the rest of the line because this stuff stayed on without chipping just as long as uh, any of my other high-end nail polishes do. I love, love, love this. I highly recommend not just this color, but trying any Jessie's Girl nail polish because I think you'll love it. Um, another nail polish that I'm loving this month, I've been loving it for like the past two or three months, is Barracuda from the Sally Hansen Complete. I have got a hair sticking out somewhere. Anyway, the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. And this is what it looks like. And it's just like a perfect Robinson egg blue. I love this color. It's beautiful. I would have never thought that I would like a color like this, but I saw it on Miss Glamorazzi and I was like, ooh, that's really pretty. So I went out and grabbed it and I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, another thing that I am loving, huh? yeah, let's say that 15 more times. My Naked Cosmetics Stack in Cabernet Blush. Guys, I... I'm not the type of person who really normally is going to take the time to work with loose pigments. I don't really like loose pigments. I've got bare minerals pigments that I have not used in over a year. I just, I, I don't like loose pigments. These are so fantastic. I cannot wait to go back to IMATS next year and get a crap ton of these because, number one, they're not messy. They don't have a lot of fallout. As a matter of fact, I didn't have any fallout when I put them on my eyes. And they're very dense. Like when you pick a little bit up off your brush and you, like I use the lid of the, um, I use the lid and I tap my brush into it, the, the product actually just goes into your brush and you put it on your lid. This stuff could not blend more easily. It could not be more pigmented. It is fantastic. I cannot say enough about the Naked Cosmetics stacks. I highly, highly recommend these. Love them. They're worth I think they sell for like 60 bucks on their website. They're worth 60 bucks because you get six shades of eyeshadow. That's $10 a shade worth every penny of it. I love Naked Cosmetics. Um, another thing that I'm really loving is my Napoleon Produce Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer with Vitamin E and Chamomile Extract. I don't know if I put this in my favorites last month. I may have. don't really remember. But anyway... Really, really like this bronzer. I did not want to like this bronzer because even with the discount at IMAX, this was still a $30 bron bronzer. This was still a $30 primer. Um, I won't be buying it again until IMAX, so I'm like trying to save it. Um, but I really like the way this just goes into my skin and it's. I use it in place of my moisturizer as well. Like if I'm going to use this primer, I won't moisturize after I wash my face. I'll just 
put this on and it moisturizes and it calms my face down it calms down the redness it's really really nice um, two more things that I'm loving I'll try to make it quick three actually but only two if I don't have time for the third one okay um, is the Chanel Bronze Universal Soleil Tan de Chanel what the hell ever I was on the fence about this for so long. I had heard, you know, April kept telling me it's fantastic. I'd seen so many great reviews about it. And I was like, no, I'm not spending $42 on that. I'm just not doing it. And it is a cream bronzer. And then I went to the Chanel. I'm, it's it can't get any creamier than this bronzer. I mean, it's like putting a powder bronzer on. It blends so easily. It, it's fantastic. I love that. I don't know if you can see that, but I just love it. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's going to take me forever to use it because you just need a very, very little bit. Um, but finally, when I was at the Chanel counter um, in California, I was getting some samples of the uh, foundation. And April was like, oh, do you have you bought the Bronze Universal yet? And I was like, no. And she was like, oh, you've got to try it. And the sales lady took it and spread it out on my hand. And the minute I saw how easily it spread, I was sold. And then I went and tried it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best $42 I could have possibly spent on bronzer because this is like my favorite bronzer now. It's it's worth $42, guys. It really is. And you know I'm not one that buys Chanel. I, I don't buy Dior. I don't buy the real, real expensive stuff but this is one that I am going to say is really really worth it. Um, another thing that I'm loving is the Illamasqua Cream Blusher in the color Rude. I cannot wait to get some more of these Illamasqua Cream colors. They are fantastic. This is just a um, really pretty like perfect coral. I love this. It stays on all day. It is highly pigmented. It looks fantastic on. I cannot say enough about this. I'm sure most of you have tried these already, but if you haven't, I think they're like 24 bucks, 24, 28. They are so worth the investment because it doesn't take hardly any, and it's really good color payoff. Love that. And last but not least, I won't talk about this too long because I know I'm probably about to run out of time, but I am loving my Donair airbrush system. Loving it. I haven't been using it every day because I did only get the little samples of the foundation and I don't want to use it all up because so I'm trying to use up all my other like liquid foundations and stuff first. But I love, love, love the airbrush system. As soon as I'm done with all my other liquid foundations, I'm buying a huge thing of the airbrush foundation and that's all I'm ever going to use. It takes literally five minutes and that includes concealing. It looks totally flawless. There's definitely a learning curve to it, but once you get it down, it, you've got it and it is fantastic. I love it. Um, so yeah, those are my hits and misses for August and I will see you guys later. My next hits and misses video I do, I will be 30. That's so sad. I mean, not sad that I'm reaching 30, but I don't know. That's like an age that, I don't know. I've just been kind of dreading turning 30. But, hey, at least I'm going to make it to 30, hopefully. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for